Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover. And let's continue playing as the Union of Socialist American States. So right now, you know what? I was thinking about this. Let's go ahead and pause our efforts here in South America. I want my guys to make sure that they are fully well equipped to attack when they need to. For some of our divisions are okay, but some of our divisions are not. At Currently at this time, um, I was going to look on YouTube for comments, uh, likes, dislikes, you know, just to monitor my channel. But apparently YouTube is having some difficulty with uh, my account, or maybe not my account so much, but just trying to log in and whatnot. So, I'm sorry if I cannot uh, get any of your comments or, you know, respond to them. However, I did read it a little earlier when it was still fine. And basically, my goal is eventually to join the Third International. Now, that's a goal. We might not do it because we just took out Rio de Sul. Cool. Uh, whoops. But, I mean, I would like to join the Third International, but, you know, it's really not up to me. It's really up to the French. So, we'll see definitely what happens. Nice. That rebellion has been squashed. You guys take these guys out whenever you can. Let's see. Uh, France is looking okay. Um, also, between this episode and last, I did make the French declare war on the co-prosperity sphere. Just for a little bit of fun. Just to see what would happen. Uh, Soviet Russia would not want to end up like this. They would want definitely the Russian Far Eastern Republic taken out. And probably to try to destroy any sort of... Um, hierarchy. Some imperialist hierarchy that the Japanese do present themselves as. So, so they are at war, but it doesn't look like very much is going on. It's a little laggy. But yeah, if I can join the Third International, I definitely will. Uh, but, as you can see, they will not accept my invitation. We need to be a little bit more positive with them. I'm at war. Perhaps after I'm done being at war with South America, then they'll probably let me in. Uh, can't improve relations. Let's just keep improving our relations anyways. Also, I did pause uh, our assaults on the South Americans because we're out of manpower currently. But we are mobilizing. I could use... Mm, service by requirement. Eh, maybe eventually. What are we building? A lot of infrastructure in Brazil. It's always nice. Uh, let's see you guys. Take happy. I'll come down here. So, I hope you guys are having a great day. I went to Sam's Club and I bought some cookies. Let's just say I'm... Those cookies were pretty good. Ooh, chocolate chip. Ooh. Sam's Club chocolate chip cookies. Not bad. Not the greatest. But pretty good. Anyways. Let's see. You know what? I'll take half you guys. You guys come down here as well. And since you're moving up, you're going to move down here too. To help get a larger combat width against the enemy who has a combat width of 19. And they're gone. Cool. You don't have to move in there actually. Go where you need to. That'd be fine with me. Small, small strategic attacks are what we're going to do because, of course, we're out of manpower. So, yeah. I remember I was playing a campaign. I, I talked about this like yesterday or two days ago. But I was playing in vanilla with my friend. Hoy for vanilla. I was the Soviet Union. He was playing as Iran. And, uh, oof. Yeah, the Germans, the German AI is pretty, feel, they feel kind of broken if you really don't know how to play the game. I would not recommend the Soviet Union at the moment just because it is pretty difficult. Now, I did want to try with a little bit of a challenge. So I did go down mass assaults in preparation for what the Germans would have thrown at me. Now, the Germans didn't get very far in my territory. They did push me back a little bit, but I could not push into their uh, territory. So it was really a stalemate until 1949 where I eventually switched my land auction to superior firepower and caused 50 million dead Axis members. A lot of fun. Well, I only lost like six or so. Anyways, so we can do a good syndicalist soldier or free the new world. Ooh, more daily political power gain. Non-core manpower and focus to, on offense for AI. Oh, I can join the international with this one. Ooh. But I like the more polit political power that we don't need and the non-core manpower. Friendship with Mexico. War plan green. Well, I'm already, I am already killed them off. War plan red. Well, we've already killed the Canadians off. Exporting the revolution towards the rest of North and South America. Well, we already are doing that. 
and Master of the West. Or we can do American Aid, send advisor to countries at war with our enemies, also provide military access to their soil if needed. On the beaches, which gives you plus 10 more special forces minimum capacity, amphibious invasion speed, naval max range factor, and prep time. Or uh, air experience gains, air superiority attack, and air superiority. A great leap forward, and a world revolution. Honestly, I really want the non-core manpower, since we're kind of out of manpower at the moment. But I do know we're going to get more than enough manpower eventually in, in the end anyways. Uh, I'm not syndicalist, but I do want to join the 3rd International. Uh, I really don't want to choose either one. Okay, so here's my thing. I'll choose one of these two when we are done being at war with South America, because because currently, and we'll take a look. Oops, oh, I missed it. If we take a look, the only reason why they don't like me basically is because I'm at war. So if I'm not at war, they might invite me in to help join their wars against Japan. So I'm going to wait for that. And we can we got some other stuff to do. We can have a bigger navy, which we actually really do need. How many dockyards? Oh, we got quite a few dockyards. We do need more chromium. And since we're not going to play this game for an extreme more amount of time, let's go ahead and get this. Talk, take to the waves. For two years, we get a triple research bonus for naval doctrine, as well as building a navy. Love it. And we got a couple more uh, infantry divisions. Great. Don't really need too many more, but we do have need for some. And for you guys, go ahead and do that. Looks like we cut off uh, Argentina from the rest of the Third International besides Chile. And where can we attack? Buenos Aires sounds like a fun place to go to. But let's go ahead and attack this direction. It looks like Argentina is running out of equipment or manpower. So it's probably equipment since they have enough manpower. Uh, here. 2 plus 2 equals 4. Plus three equals seven. Plus one equals eight divisions. I can do basic math, guys. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I play. Uh, I don't play math games. Okay, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going there. I'm, I don't play math games, and we do need more support equipment. So, cool math games at 500 subs. Oh God, no. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, do that. I can't believe I even just said that. Uh, oh yeah, we got a lot of space there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, what's a man for Bahia? That's a really plain flag. It looks like a double Polish flag, but with a triangle. Like an American triangle or something. Really basic. Nothing special. Cool. And then we'll push in this way. You guys can come down here. They could not stand up to us. Very nice. Take half of you guys. Take half of uh, you fellows. Ah, yes, Argentina. Can't do very much against us. Three divisions. Well, what about four divisions? Attack there. We have, tw holy crap, 24 over here. Sure, why not? La Paz. Not feeling so good. Eh, hey, Bolivia? Ground attack better initi initiative. Excuse me. Oh, tactical bomber, strategic bombing. Great, great, great. Take out La Paz and Bolivia might capitulate. We can probably actually attack through here. Whoops. Here we go. And yeah, our division is just so good for attacking. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. La Paz, they're slowly moving away. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Take half of you guys. I think you could probably take out these Argentinian divisions. And if you can, we'll attack this direction next. Follow here. Follow through, please. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. And there goes a Bolivia. I love it. Uh, just go this way. You guys can... Well, they got five divisions here. That's quite a bit. But no problem. Then we'll attack this way since they're attacking us. You should always attack enemies when they're attacking you, right? Exactly. Sure, why not? I do have coffee here, but it's still a little warm. Hmm. We have two nukes. Two nukes. We only have three reactors. But, you know, that's okay. We don't need all the re reactors in the world. You guys could probably take these guys out without too much difficulty. Support equipment is going up. I thought we were out 2,000 pieces, but now we're only out 1,200 pieces. I don't want to split up my entire large front line, so I'm not going to split them in half. Take half of you guys and come down here. Are you based over here? There's... Ah, so half of you are 
boarding one country and the other half are boarding another. Interesting. All right, cool. Do you want to take Buenos Aires? So we'll do that next. Hmm. This looks like a good place to attack. Follow up. Cordoba. I didn't know they had Cordoba, Argentina. Did not know that. See, I'm learning. Ge we're learning geography here, guys. It, you learn more than just how to conduct war in Hearts of Iron 4. Great. What are the casualties like for this war? It's getting pretty laggy. I've taken a lot of casualties. Oh well. Nice. They suffered 420 casualties in South America. Uh. Oh, and the Arabian Social Republic has. Oh. Oh. Can you win here? Oh, yeah, you can. No problemo. So, Mashriq looks disgusting. The Turkish commune is desperately trying to attack the Syrians. Wow, that sounds honestly slightly relevant to today. Anyways, uh, but it looks like there's a lot of battles going on in the Turkish commune as well as Iran. The Japanese do have a lot of influence in the Middle East, though. How is the Russian front looking like? I made sure that they went to war with each other just because the infrastructure here is okay. It's not great, but... It's going to cause a lot of casualties and a lot of attrition for both sides, which means that someone's going to need to be the uh, great loner of weaponry and stuff like that in the future for one side. Yeah. And then we can maybe take leadership roles. Uh, something's not going on over here. Attack from this side. We can't win that side. Hmm. Well then. Death charge mortars, great. Start Lenly? Sure, thank you very much. And it's more munitions. Awesome. You know what? We have a little bit of spare manpower. I don't want to cause too many casualties, but we are on being careful. And nothing says an American is more careful than being on the careful attack button. Even though all you guys are not on it as well. Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. I see. We are, are already split up here. Okay, that would make sense. I want you to be careful. I want you all to be careful as well. I want you to help take out probably Peru and Ecuador. Since we do have a couple divisions over here that aren't really doing anything. Actually, you guys could probably take these guys out. So, go ahead and do that. Yes, we will incur a few more casualties. So be it. You need to do something about this. You guys don't have any prepping, but that's okay, since I don't think the Argentines can really hurt you. Okay, cool. We got Take to the Ways and Excavation 2, and Bahia will be Brazilian again. Okay, I still can't give that to them. Cool. Nice. Any sort of rebellion has been crushed in Brazil. Please. Brazil. Get it taken care of. Awesome. Naval Doctrine? Wow. We really suck at Naval Doctrine. I do not want to go to war against the Japanese without a good Naval Doctrine. Advanced Light Ship Hole? Sure, sounds good to me. Next focus up, since we got some bonus there. Disband the Red Guard, so we get better construction of stuff, which we really kind of need, but kind of not. Naval Base Construction Speed plus 10%. Oh, Experienced Soldiers Lost. And, you know, Manpower is not a huge issue, but I kind of like Experienced Soldier Lost minus 20%. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's have a little bit of fun with that. Very cool. A lot of political power. Hmm. You guys probably can't win down here, can you? Yeah, you, just, you guys just give up. Wait, why are we abandoning the line? Peru, how are you doing? Well, you are getting attacked by me, so you must be doing very well. Getting closer and closer to Lima, the capital. Nice, we pushed up a little bit. This is attacking over a river, so I don't know if it's going to be super successful. But we could always try. Mm, nope, not looking like it's being super successful. Let's push it on this way. And once we beat the enemy, then I'll tell these guys to not move up. As well, because it looks like, oh, well, maybe Columbia's already there. Nice. And... Cool. You guys can stop, since it's not going so well, but we did get over the river somehow, some way. 
Ah, nice. A little, a small little encirclement <clears throat> of Chilean soldiers. Oh, my goodness. Nice. Very good. Let them starve. Let them eat cake. Where do we take two divisions here? They still don't like to take Buenos Aires for some reason. Alright, there's no one there. You should be able to just walk right into Buenos Aires. Who do I have to capitulate, actually? I need to capitulate Argentina. Oh, that's it? Oh, yeah. Screw everyone else. Oh, no. They came back. Just take the god dang city. I want you to come here and then come up that way. Good. Don't need too many more losses. United Communists of Brazil is... Oh! Argent... Oh my goodness. Well, looks like we got to do some convoy raiding and make sure we crush anything around there. Base strikes. Great. Uh, heavy carrier and carrier organization. Awesome. Yeah, go ahead and just kill any convoys. Or yeah, that's what I like to see. That's what we like to see. Oh! Five Ar Argentinian convoys have been sunk. Nice, Buenos Aires has capitulated. And they're super close to capitulation themselves. Guys, just go ahead and be a little more aggressive. Zimbabwe, I don't think we're fighting Zimbabwe, but they capitulated themselves. And, oh, we actually lost an American destroyer. But it looks like we've been killing a ton of South American ships. Uh, they do have subs, but, wow. I was going to, I was going to comment on these, but we still have, okay, cool. Now I can finally comment on this stuff. Uh, yeah, you guys definitely have to go repair, so. That was actually surprisingly very good. Well, I guess not too surprisingly, since our military's navy isn't too bad, actually. So let's take a, take a look at the casualty. So I lost a destroyer, an improved lightship hull, but we sunk 10 pretty bad cruisers, 6 pretty bad destroyers, 2 armored heavy cruisers, and then 18 convoys. Ah, America. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, Guys, just go ham at this point. If we capitulate the Argentinians, there's no, no one's going to be left, so... Do I need to expand my... Oh, I do probably need to expand this a little bit. I do have a couple spare things here. I'm going to increase the, the repair capacity by a little bit. Not too much because I will be giving a lot of this land back to uh, future allies, we'll say. Come on, Argentina. Capitulate. 91% of the way there. Uh, People's Republic of Vietnam fell. Probably due to the Japanese. Come on. Oh, more naval battles? Ooh. Oh, no, just another convoy kind of sunk. Could you take out Lima that way? Is it moving? Oh, there we go. Here we go. Awesome. So I'm just going to head and annex all of them. And then be I'm not going to release them if I can. But what I will do between this episode and the next is make sure we have one gigantic South American state. As well as a nice old revolutionary Colombian state. Oh wait, you're still alive? What are you doing alive? Awesome. You guys just take that ter territory out. And then the rest of you guys, I have to send up to between San Francisco, LA, and Baja, California. Because we will be beginning an attack. You know, actually for you guys... Don't do that. Take you guys off of all of here. Well, hold on. You gotta do it like that, because this game is weird. Repair. Everyone goes ahead. Go ahead and repair. No issues there. One for modern dreadnought hull. One for improved heavy carrier. Awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and Ecuador still owns some of this territory. Minister go issuing. A long vacation is what they'll get. Or Issing. They went Issing. I don't know what Issing is, but uh, it doesn't sound like very good for them. Or maybe it is good for us. Ooh. Oh, we completed our next focus. Great. Experience soldier loss is less. Maintain flexibility. Professionalize the Air Force. Flying Ace. 
tank doctrine, trade convoy, and escort efficiency. Very good. Fate of Bolivia and Argentina. Uh, my plan, though, was to make sure that I gave Brazil a little bit more power so that they could balance themselves out with the South American faction. So I will go ahead and give Uruguay, Uruguay to Brazil because my knowledge of South American culture and history and stuff like that isn't super great. And then I'll liberate some other countries when we take out and finish off Ecuador. Nice. You guys are doing alright, I suppose. Cool. Quito? Is it Quito? They're doing alright, I suppose. I don't know how long Ecuador can hold off the Americans by ourselves. Probably not for too long if they have about 20,000 manpower on scraping the barrel. And it looks like they were defeated. Great, 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 great. And for me to liberate a country so they assume power of all over this portion of South America, I'm probably going to choose Argentina to lead this big old group here. Oh, baby, this lag is getting pretty not good. Nice, 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 nice. The Navy should be doing okay. Where is... Oh, my goodness. Do we have another carrier, two dreadnoughts, two cruisers and 40 destroyers. I'm making too many destroyers now. Go ahead, throw yourselves onto here. Uh, there you go, my friends. You only have 11. I'm going to take a couple of you destroyers off. You don't have that many cruisers. Uh, actually, that's probably too many. Hold on. Uh, give me 10. Go ahead and combine there, so we have a pretty good amount. You guys, you, you need a carrier. Yeah, I'm going to take, actually, probably a carrier. No, you already, you already have one carrier. Two dreadnoughts. I need another carrier or something. Yeah. But this navy, while it's not super, super great, it's not super, super bad. And it looks like we get another 50 subs. So the subs... Sub, 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 sub... Whoa, 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 whoa. We'll go to... L.A. Nice. Very good. Alright. And, oh, I, guess, I guess we still have to take even more Ecuadorian places of interest. Go ahead and help take him out if you can. Get Loja. Loja. How many more days? We've got about half a, got a couple days. We've got quite a bit of political power. I love it. Taking out this division. We can't seem to win here, which is fine. Happens, you know. And let's take a quick look at our aircraft. Currently, we got some pretty good heavy fighters stationed on Midway. We need some. We will need all those heavy fighters. So let's actually add in 800 more since I will be leaving some here, but also pulling some heavy fighters from this island to go do other things elsewhere. We got a lot of bad bombers. Oh my goodness! Naval bomber two is great. Great, great, great. And these, all these things will be needed for war with the Japanese. Oh, we could make better subs. My subs are okay. They're not great. They're just okay. Um, snorkels. God dang it. Might as well make those. Oh, we have an island over here too. So we're going to definitely need some... Get me 400... And then, close air support isn't bad. They can act as naval bombers a little bit. Uh, look at all these crappy fighters. Fighters have just too little range for me to use unless you're in Europe. And just Europe alone. Get 400 of those guys. Get rid of some of these crappy planes. Cool, so that means we just need to finish up Ecuador. And that's it. Medium tanks. I don't think we really, we really need medium tanks, I think. Light tanks. Don't think we need those either. Oh, Vault Creek era light tanks. Ooh. Garbage planes. Just garbage. You know, I use them for the Civil War. But since the Civil War was like six years ago, probably. Quite a while ago. We don't really need those. Uh, let's just get rid of that. I'm going to keep these here just because these can be converted. Screw it. Whatever. 
Uh, we're making some pretty good, actually, some pretty good close air support, so I'm going to leave those there. There's a lot of garbage naval bombers, though. And then carrier naval bombers, same sort of idea. 1,000. We already have 300 of the better stuff, so it doesn't matter. Naval bombers. Everyone loves naval bombers. No, I'm not going to delete the good naval bombers that I've already been making. Alright. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of... Not that, because tactical bombers actually have some pretty good use. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. I'm going to leave these two, since we still need them. Awesome. Research. Uh, light ship hull. Naval mine avoidance sounds like a very good thing to have. And... Light ship hulls. Well, you're about to get replaced. Advanced light ship hull A1s. Let's make a better light ship hull. So, we have light battery 4s. Slightly more light attack. And Tierra is garbage because I haven't done anything with it. Fire control system 0. Better sonar to help kill some subs. Better light engines. Level 3 torpedo launchers. Level 3 depth charges. Uh, more torpedoes actually would probably be ideal since I usually usually use these only for oh for subs and since we got rid of something here so we got rid of some of our torpedo attack which is fine to get rid of some of that uh rapid fire guns really not worth it the light attack i'll put the torpedoes back on nice very good and you come to Massachusetts. All right, so Henry Wallace testifies against progressives. Following the end of the syndicalist revolution, numerous members of the progressive party had pledged allegiance to the USS in a massive show of support. While the public at large was fooled by the, the display, uh, the vanguard party is not so easily deceived. Earl Browder has spent the last several weeks building up a case to present to Congress purporting the inherent betrayal of progressives to the socialist ideals. A gaunt and lumping Henry Wallace appeared in a political rally today to denounce the progressives as socialist cleansmen disguised to deceive the working class. Wallace then joined Earl Brower in announcing that he would justify an upcoming sedition trial against the progressives and assure the public that traitors of this caliber deserve death. You know, I don't know about you, but it just seems like we're getting rid of a lot of people. Hmm. Former allies and whatnot. Hmm. This seems like we're getting rid of people who might upset our power. Hmm. This can't be an allusion to anything else, of course not. Anyways, uh, having lots of fun with lots of uh, fun people. We'll put it like that. Lots of fun with lots of fun people. I love it like that. Cool. Uh, this place definitely must have. Oh, look how much nicer this is after we got rid of a lot of equipment. Oh, so so smooth. So nice. Cool. Um, I definitely want 800 naval bombers here, followed by 800 of you guys. But, since we only have so much space, I'm going to put 300 tactical bombers here, too. Cool. And we're running out of time. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, over here, oh, we should be okay without air power, hopefully. Maybe. But let's take a look at our navies. We're, oh, you guys can stop doing that. Actually, you guys can all do that. Go ahead. Come to... I already told him not to come to LA. You don't come up here. Don't come over here or over here. Come to uh, this port. Vancouver Island and repair. We have the Arsenal Revolution done. We're going to fuel the revolution next. We can get lots and lots of fuel. But uh, that's pretty much where I'm going to end it for today. So apparently... Can I join the Third International? No, I cannot. So that means... Holy crap, negative 688. Because... They have syndicalists, and I'm a totalist right now, so they don't really like us. Anyways, regardless, next time we will, besides fuel the revolution, we will be good syndicalist soldiers to join the international. We will go to war with the Japanese, so I better start justifying on them immediately. Oh, only 25 days, that's pretty good. And we will have a great time watching the Chinese do something against... Oh, they already took out Vietnam. Oh well, with that in mind, thank you very much for watching guys, leave a like if you like the video, subscribe if you're new, and I will of course see you tomorrow, as I always try to do. Thanks for watching!